High drama during a court hearing for a man accused of killing a Marion County Sheriff's deputy. Yeah, CBS 4's Hannah Fullman explains why the judge is upset with actions taken by the sheriff's office. When Orlando Mitchell appeared in court on Friday, frustrations came from both the judge and the defense attorneys centering around the release of this surveillance video. The sheriff's office released it August 30th. It shows Mitchell get out of the van and wrap his handcuffed belly chain around Deputy John Durham's neck. Now with the video released, here's what the defense had to say. From our perspective, we feel the state violated its own protective order. The prosecution argues that video was released by the sheriff's office, an independent agency, and they cannot control what is released to the public. But still, this may cause problems. John Tompkins, an attorney unrelated to the case, says now with the video released to the public, it may make it difficult for the judge to have a fair trial going forward. Judge has to make sure both sides get a fair trial. Now there's a copy of an item that is sure to be at least a proposed exhibit, this video. It's out in the internet. You cannot recapture that. You cannot figure out how to keep people from watching that. Tompkins says one of the biggest problems will be selecting the jury for this trial. This is because people who've seen the video may make conclusions about the case before hearing testimony or seeing evidence. But it will be even more problematic, he says, if people see a different version of the video, a version that was tampered with or altered. Everybody should be watching for how this video is played with and toyed with because this is going to be an example right here locally of why it's so dangerous to leak evidence before trial. The trial isn't expected to happen for a few years, giving the prosecution and defense plenty of time to prepare. One of the dates in the works is in September of 2026. Mitchell is expected to be back in court for another pre-trial conference on January 5th. In Indianapolis, Hannah Fullman, CBS 4 News.